Alright guys, what is going on? This is Adam from the Ernster Sanctuary here, and today I'm doing a Japan Herping Channel entry. I know I'm kind of late, this is like the last two days of the entry, but uh, so I'm going to show you guys all of my iguanas actually. It's going to be like an entry slash reptile room update, because there has been a lot of stuff going on. Um, so in here, in my basement bedroom sort of deal, uh, these are all the baby and juvenile iguanas that I keep. Uh, currently I have 10 iguanas, and 6 of them are babies or juveniles, so yeah, let's go through this. Uh, up here we have a 20 gallon, very simple setup, uh, just some fake plants, high water bowl, food bowl, um, and here are the three that are kept in here. This is a blue or a xanthic iguana right here. His name is Cobalt, he's pretty sweet. And then if you watched my last video, I got this little guy, uh, red and green cross iguana. I got him and then his, uh, his hatch mate over here. So these guys are all three in this setup with UVB. Uh, heat and they're doing awesome. They're growing like little weeds. So right now I'm going to grab all these guys and show them to you outside of their enclosures. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those three little hatchings that I keep in my top enclosure in this rack. Those guys are pretty cool, they're all pretty much new, uh, and they're just, just awesome to keep. And so here in this middle rack, this is a 50 gallon enclosure for my albino iguana. Again, same sort of deal, water bowl, he's on newspaper, a dual bulb holder, so this is a 100 watt red heat bulb, and then 26 watt UVB bulb. Um, Again, basking spot, hide, uh, food bowl, and a temperature gauge and humidity gauge. So yeah, it's just his setup. And uh, yeah, I'll get him out for you guys right now. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little clip of my albino iguana. His name is Banana, by the way. He's my pride and joy. He's absolutely stunning. And so down here on the bottom shelf, I have two more iguanas. Uh, again, another 20 gallon enclosure. Uh, I took her hide and stick out for the sake of this video. Uh, this is a female azanthic iguana. She's just probably around six or seven months old. She's just, she's a baby still. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys her now. The last iguana that I have in my baby rack is uh, this little guy right here. He is a 100% het for albino, baby Colombian strain green iguana. Sorry, it's kind of a mouthful. So he's just in a 10 gallon right now. I want to keep him separate from the other greens because it's hard to tell the difference. And I definitely want to be able to know which one the head is so I don't get them confused. So in the future I will be able to produce some albinos with this guy. If it is a female, obviously it's too young right now to tell. But again, 10 gallon enclosure. Food bowl, hide, big water bowl because these guys do love humidity, and then heat and UVB. These two split a UVB light. So, yeah, I'll get him out for you guys now. Okay, guys, moving on to the big iguana enclosure. I built this with my dad. Uh, this cage is 10 feet tall, 6 feet in width, and then 8 feet in length. 
So in here, these are my three bigger iguanas that I currently have. This is a chair so I sit, that I sit in to tame these guys. Uh, they just take some time around on. Hide box, food tray, dirty water bowl. You gotta clean these guys' water bowl every day because they just dirty it up. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. They have multiple levels in here. So they can climb around on because these are an arboreal species. And yeah, I'll show you each one right now. Okay guys, this is the final outdoor enclosure I have for my final iguana. This guy is a Lewisai hybrid. Uh, he's a Cyclura Lewisai iguana cross with a Cuban iguana. Uh, both of his parents are actually Lewisai hybrids, so that means he's F2 generation. That means both of the parents were Lewisai hybrids and he was the offspring of them. So this is, is his enclosure. It's six feet tall, uh, four feet in length, and then three feet in width. Let's just hold him for now. He's a hibiscus bush in here that he's sort of torn apart and eaten. Again, water bowl, hide, sticks to climb around on multiple levels, and there he is.